Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU, and today we're going to discuss iOS 9.3.3, specifically the fifth beta of the firmware which Apple just ceded to registered developers. So in a seemingly never endless flood of iOS 9.3.3 betas, we have a new one today. Now last week when the fourth beta was released, I posed a question that I kind of want to continue in today's video. So is Apple purposefully attempting to delay the release of a jailbreak by of course trying to push out iOS 9.3.3? 3.3's release date, one of the firmware's jailbreak developers are expected to be targeting, or is it possible that Apple's just focused solely on optimization purposes with iOS 9.3.3, that's why we have five betas and they want to get things right. Because at this point, it's honestly a little excessive. This is more beta seeds than we received for iOS 9.2. 9.2 only got four betas, and while iOS 9.3 did get seven betas, this is still more than 9.3.2. So this is definitely interesting, especially considering 9.3.3 itself doesn't offer any outward facing changes that the end user being you guys or myself would actually notice instead it's focused purely on optimization and stability and of course we still have yet to be made aware of any significant bugs that have been corrected inside of iOS 9.3.3 so let's continue that conversation down below in the comments section now as for iOS 9.3.2 and whether we'll receive a jailbreak for the firmware or not I wanted to briefly touch on some updates that I had mentioned in one of my last videos talking about MOSEC or the Mobile Security Conference and Pangu. Now there's a little bit of confusion for individuals who happen to watch that video that I created covering the conference. Essentially in said video I said that it was reported that Pangu held a Q&A after their talk on iOS 9.3.2 and privacy and during said Q&A they supposedly answered a question from someone in the audience concerning a possible release date for a new jailbreak for iOS 9.3.x, and again, they claim to have said that it was going to be released for iOS 9.3.2 in about a week. Now, the key verbiage in that video that I used is claimed. So, of course, this was still a rumor, as I mentioned in that video, and as I also said, we have no direct video confirmation of Pangu actually saying that, just supposedly first-hand reports. So, at this point, we don't know when a new jailbreak is going to be released. All we do know is that Pangu is likely targeting iOS 9.3.x and it could very well be iOS 9.3.3 for that matter, which is why Apple may be pushing back the jailbreak with all of these betas. Again, what do you think on that? Let me know down below in the comments section. Now, what's really awesome though is what's going on with iOS 10. Now, I created a video following the release of the first beta discussing how its kernel is essentially unencrypted inside of beta 1. Essentially, two camps were created following that move. A number of people said that it was done by accident on Apple's part, while the majority, like myself, tried to remain hopeful that Apple did this intentionally as part of a move to kind of open up and to allow developers to actually report certain bugs, which of course this could definitely be useful in the creation of new jailbreak utilities, since again it is unencrypted. Now today we have confirmation. Muscle Nerd actually tweeted out, quote, it was no accident. Apple left even more images unencrypted in iOS 10.0. Beta 2. Example, all RAM disks and 32-bit bootloaders. So he quickly came up with this mock-up right here, just a comparison chart between the things that are unencrypted in Beta 1 and Beta 2. So for bootloaders, we have fully unencrypted on 32-bit devices, which is absolutely great, except for the fact that 32-bit devices are most likely going to be phased out after iOS 10, and I Hate Snow likely already had access to some of this. Also, as Muscle Nerd said, all RAM disks, except for the Apple TV, are are now unencrypted. The kernel is also unencrypted for 32-bit devices now, whereas it was only for 64-bit devices in the first beta, and that's it. But that's some really awesome news, guys. This is a really great trend on Apple's part, and hopefully this will aid jailbreak developers moving forward. Again, we are hopeful for more new jailbreak utilities in iOS 10, and hopefully it sparks new growth and opportunities in the realm of jailbreaking. Let me know your thoughts on anything discussed in today's video below, and how many more betas 
do you think Apple is going to release of iOS 9.3.3? Now, if you want to be updated even more often, such as when I release new videos concerning things ranging from iOS and jailbreak updates to new Apple devices, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Of course, click the subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCracker Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.